Hey, it's Edu here. In this video, I'll be using my Windows 10 machine to set up a sandbox system. Basically, a practical guide on how to set up a virtual machine that you can be using as a sandbox. Now, I plan to do a lot of tutorials video on this kind of stuff. Just a practical hands-on and a guide on the skills you need to have as a cybersecurity analyst. Now, if you are tuning in for the first time, which is most likely as this is a new channel, uh, I will highly recommend you subscribe to the channel for those videos. Now, for the software or VM, I have this specific VM used in training CCNA Cyber Operations Associate, as well as the material. We'll be using the lab guides and we'll be executing the, the labs here. So now I'll have the, the download link in the description box below so that you have it on your system as we move along. So here I am on my desktop. You do need a virtual box. So you do need a virtual box. So I will launch my virtual box here. Okay. So we go to file and click import appliances. Now you locate where you save your VM. Now save my own desktop go to so here i have it named as cyber ops underscore workstation dot ov now click open to import and then now you click next continue so this is what i was talking about look at the cpu requirement look at the ram so basically the the cheapest computer out there should be able to run run this thing so you check this box to reinitialize the MAC addresses of all network cards and click on import import the, the machine now wait as the as our VM get imported to, to our virtual So it has finished. Now I'll click this and click start to start the VM. So we have an error box here saying do not start the machine cyber or talk station because the following physical interface, network interfaces were not found. So now just change it. Click on the change from, from the bridge adapter, change it to NAT and click OK. Let's give it some time. Just give you some time to power on. okay the machine has finished booting up so the default password is cyber ops using the analyst as the username and you click login yeah That's it. So this is a desktop you get from from the cyber ops um, workstation. And just an overview: these systems come with pre-installed with some of the um, important softwares like Wireshark. We have our web browser, uh, Firefox. We have ZenMap, and uh, we have another ZenMap as root. So it comes pretty loaded. And you can do some system settings you can do some appearance settings 
and and all that you can change other things like color and and all that even the icons you can do that but we are not much interested about that let me just show you quickly because this system do have a mini net which i like very well so this mini net is for those that don't know what mini net is is basically um a tool that create a kind of virtual network on your system because you do create a a topology network topology that consists of host a switch and also a router on this cyber operation machine so let me quickly run cls we have cd uh, let's go to cd lab support from here you have something like um okay script okay. go to script and what else okay so let me run this we do dash comma cyber ops so now enter the password of cyber ops and now look at so this is the minute i was talking about here look at the network we have r1 as the router we have s1 as the switch then we have this h from h1 h2 h3 and h4 as the host or computer so this is very very interesting uh, machine to to use as a network or cyber security analyst because it basically provides you with almost everything you need to practice your skills and this is also very good for maybe maybe not student but experienced user to be testing out some some command or some stuff before actually using it on on your production network and yes this is the installation and overview of the system we'll see more on the cyber operation workstation in subsequent videos so i'll still remind you to subscribe to the channel for those videos and that is it for now I will see you in the next one.